Okay, really quickly, I want to take a look at the uh, U-Synth fixed filter bank that I just finished building. You can take a look here. I built this similar to the old classic Moog style uh, front panel express panel. Um, I really wanted to go a little bit traditional. You see how it sits in the modular. It's a little bit different spacing. The, uh, the knobs are lined up on the MOTM standard with an empty row of jacks as far as that goes, but I really like the classic look of it, and I was willing to uh, get my own panel done to support that. So let me let me go ahead and bring some of the levels up into the filter. I do have reverb going on this one just because uh, it helps make the fixed filter bank uh, sound come out a little bit more, and you can see what you can do with it, okay? I didn't want to leave it too dry. I've got the uh, three VCOs coming into it through my low-pass gate. My low-pass gate, you're not going to hear any effect from it. It's just a volume level at this time. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn all these uh, turn all these down. You can hear a little bit of a bleed through there, but it pretty much cuts the sound all the way out. And uh, let me take a look here. Start bringing up these bands one at a time. I rearranged the way the knobs are laid out actually just to point that out I have the low here uh, and it kind of goes up this way through the three rows vertically and then the high over here so essentially I've got kind of kind of bass mid-range treble super treble and and you know the, the the low end cutoff here if I turn this get that bass coming in if you're on computer speakers you're not going to hear that but There you have it. That's the uh, U-Synth fixed filter bank, and uh, highly recommend getting one of these. Of course, I highly recommend getting one of everything, but uh, that's just me. A very useful module, essentially just a graphic equalizer for your modular synthesizer. One that, uh, if you're designing sounds, can really be put into good use. Now, I'm not going to say you can't do just the same thing with an external equalizer, because that would be silly. You absolutely can. But it doesn't have all the knobs. It doesn't fit in with the look and image and sound of your modular. And uh, if we could get one of these going with CV for all the inputs, uh, we would be really, uh, really stoked in the modular world. Thanks again for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos. See you next time.